And the only time is now, and you're doing it. I don't think anybody controverts the fact that you're doing a great job with this child at this point. And just God bless you for providing stability and love and the soft place to fall for that child. So I'm glad you're doing that. So what do you do? You've been on heroin a long time. And people think of addiction as a psychological phenomenon. It is not a psychological phenomenon. There is a psychological component to it, but there is a big neurological component to it. It affects the brain in a big way. And frankly, if, if you look at the effects of the brain here, we're talking about the limbic system and the limbic system is made up of a lot of different functions, a lot of different structures, the, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the cingulate gyrus, uh, the hippocampus, there's a lot of different structures that all make up the limbic system. And that involves emotion and memory and pleasure centers and reason and all the things that go into what differentiate us as humans with emotion and consciousness, and it affects the prefrontal cortex as well. It impairs your ability to regulate behaviors, emotional processing. It impairs your memory. It impairs executive functioning, reasoning skills, problem solving skills, planning skills, it decreases your ability to make decisions. It decreases your ability to imagine future events and interactions. It decreases your ability to respond to stressful situations. All of these things. In fact, a heroin brain functions a lot like an Alzheimer's brain. So that means motivation and emotion are pretty much gone. gone. Pleasure centers are really out of balance. So you're in a situation where the computer that runs the body is giving you false information. You know, this prefrontal cortex here is the executive center. This is like the administrative office that tells you what to do. It's your problem solving center. It's what organizes all of your behavior is problem recognition, problem solving, and then these deep structures in here make up the limbic system. This, this is deep brain here. And heroin has disrupted your neurotransmitters. It's disrupted dopamine. It's disrupted serotonin and how these things communicate with each other. So it's not about, it's just not about, I'm gonna get in there and give her the old college try. Because <laughs> your brain is not working like it needs to do. Okay. So that means what? That you're just screwed? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. There are 90 days until the wedding. So how does Brittany use those 90 days to get herself right? We'll be right back.